Hi everybody, Reverend Vicky here and it's great to be with you for Treasure Time. Today we're going to find out about the story in the Bible all about a fiery furnace. But before that we're going to light our candle and we're going to have a great little worship song called Praise Ye the Lord, Alleluia. Some of you may remember this from when we had assemblies together, so I really hope that you enjoy it. But to begin with, we're going to light our candle. So let's just have a moment of quiet and let's just think about what this candle means for us. So it's now time for our Bible story and we're going to watch a video together. I wonder if we're as amazed at this story as this dog is in the picture. Let's watch the video and see. Stories of the Bible, the fiery furnace. There once were three Jewish men named Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. When they were very young, they were taken from Israel to live in a place called Babylon. At that time, the king of Babylon was a man named Nebuchadnezzar. That's it. Almost there. And he made a gold statue that was 90 feet tall. Perfect. The king sent a message for everyone to come to the dedication of his statue. When everyone had assembled, <laughs> It was declared that people of all races, nations, and languages would bow before the statue and worship King Nebuchadnezzar's statue when they heard the sound of musical instruments. If anyone refused, they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. So at the sound of the musical instruments, all the people bowed to the ground and worshiped. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not because they were Jewish and would only bow to the one true God. Mm. 
some of the wise men of Babylon went to the king and told him that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to the statue. What? This made the king very angry, and he asked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego if it was true that they would not bow to the statue. Then he said he would give them one more chance to bow down, and if they did not bow, they will be thrown into the fire. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied that they didn't need to defend themselves against the king. They said, if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue you have set up. Ah! The king was so angry with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that he commanded the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. Then he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be bound and thrown in the fire. The fire was so hot that it killed the soldiers that threw them in. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the flames. But suddenly, the king jumped up and said to his advisors, didn't we tie up three men and throw him in the furnace? The advisor said, yes. But the king said, look, I see four men walking around the fire and the fourth looks like a god. Then the king shouted to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come out. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of the fire and everyone saw that the fire had not touched them. They didn't even smell of smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar praised the one true God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had rescued them from the fire. And the king made a new command that anyone who spoke a word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be greatly punished. Then he promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in his court. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in God and were willing to die rather than worship any god but their own god. My God is strong He'll do anything big or small Nothing is impossible 